the ZSW-30 turret, a significant milestone in Polish military innovation, represents a crucial step in modernizing Poland's armored combat vehicles. Developed by Huta Stalowawala in collaboration with WB Electronics, the ZSW-30 is a remotely controlled turret designed to replace the aging Hisfis 30P turrets on Rosmark armor personnel carriers and to be integrated into the new Borsuk infantry fighting vehicles. This turret not only addresses the shortcomings of its predecessor, but also introduces a range of advanced features that position it as a critical asset for modern warfare. The development of the ZSW-30 began as a response to the growing need for better maintenance and modernization options for Poland's existing armor vehicles. The limitations of the Hisfis 30P turret, particularly in terms of integration with domestic components and modern battlefield requirements, led to the pursuit of a new solution. The result was the ZSW-30, a new turret that not only incorporates advanced technology but also aligns with Poland's defense industry goals. At the heart of the ZSW-30 is, is the 30mm Mark 44S Bushmaster II automatic cannon, a proven and reliable weapon capable of engaging a wide range of targets from light ammo vehicles to low-flying aircraft. The turret is also equipped with a coaxial UKM 2000C machine gun and two spike LR anti-tank guided missiles, providing a formidable mix of firepower for various combat scenarios. Additionally, the turret features 81mm smoke rally launchers, enhancing the vehicle's survivability on the battlefield. One of the standout features of the ZSW-30 is its sophisticated fire control system, which includes hunter-killer capabilities. This system allows the gunner and commander to independently track and engage targets, significantly improving the vehicle's combat effectiveness. Advanced optics, laser range fighters, and night vision capabilities further enhance the tourist's ability to acquire and engage targets in diverse operational conditions. The production of the ZSW-30 turret began in 2022, and by December 2023, it officially ended service with the Polish armed forces. The first units were deployed on Rosmark IFVs within the 21st Port Hale Rifle Brigade, making a significant upgrade in the capabilities of these vehicles. The initial production order included 70 tourists, with a total of 341 units planned, ensuring widespread integration across Poland's armor vehicle fleet. The deployment of the ZSW-30 is part of a broader effort to modernize Poland's military forces, enhancing their readiness and capability to respond to modern threats. The integration of artificial intelligence into the tourist targeting system is a notable development, allowing for improved accuracy and coordination with unmanned aerial vehicles. This feature is particularly relevant in modern warfare where the ability to quickly and accurately engage targets is crucial. The ZSW-30 Tourist design emphasizes modular protection and versatility, making it well suited for demands of contemporary combat. Its ability to engage both ground and air targets, coupled with its advanced targeting systems, positions it as a key component in Poland's ammo warfare strategy. The tourist integration with the Spike LR missiles 
provides a potent anti-tank capability, essential for countering mortar armor threats. The concept of mounting the ZSW-30 on a foreign chassis, similar to the approach used with the Krab Howitzer, is a pragmatic solution to accelerate the development and deployment of new combat vehicles. This strategy allows Poland to leverage proven technology while focusing on enhancing its domestic capabilities through the development of advanced turrets like the ZSW-30. Poland's defense industry is now exploring the possibility of integrating the ZSW-30 turret with foreign infantry fighting vehicle choices, leading to the potential creation of the PL-21 murder. Three main contenders have emerged for this contract, Rheimeter Lynx, Autocars 2 Power, and Hanwha's Redback. The Redback known for its robustness and advanced technology, is quietly considered the front-runner in this competition. Its proven engine, strong protection against IEDs, and advanced integration capabilities make it a natural fit for the ZSW-30 turret. This combination could offer the Polish army a highly effective platform for modern warfare. On the other hand, Rheimeter's Lynx, despite its excellent protection and modularity, faces challenges due to its unfamiliar engine and recent issues with ammunition delivery. The Topar, while offering exceptional mobility, may not provide the same level of protection as its competitors, particularly against heavier threats. The decision on which chassis will ultimately be paired with the ZSW-30 turret will have significant implications for Poland's future combat capabilities. The Redback, if selected, could form the backbone of Poland's ammo forces for years to come, particularly if it integrates seamlessly with the advanced features of the ZSW-30. In conclusion, the ZSW-30 turret represents a significant leap forward for Poland's armor combat vehicles, offering a blend of advanced technology, modularity, and firepower that is well suited for modern warfare. Its successful integration into the Polish armed forces, along with the potential for future development through partnerships with foreign IFE manufacturers, positions it as a key element in Poland's military modernization efforts. As the competition for the PL-21 contract unfolds, the ZSW-30 turret will likely play a pivotal role in shaping the future of Poland's armor forces.